Hi hey YouTube, Tim here, ready to do the things that you shouldn't do so that hopefully you don't have to and won't. Somebody was asking what temperature PVC gets soft at, exactly when it starts to soften, when it starts to decompose, when it starts to brown and crack and do all of those things. So I've done tests in the past where I've looked at that and I thought, well, why the heck not? Let's go out on the concrete, outdoors being careful not to breathe in any fumes that we're creating because there will be some nasty toxic fumes and I'll take a small amount of PVC for the sake of science let's burn the crap out of it with our trusty trusty heat gun so let's take this and see what we can do here is the PVC here's the heat gun and the infrared thermometer so the method is I'm gonna heat it I'm going to touch it with my glove and give you an idea of exactly how soft it is at various points in the heating. Then once we reach the point of softness, I'm going to stop touching it and I'm just going to nuke the heck out of it. Every once in a while I will take the temperature, like so, and show you. That's the plan. If anybody has any requests for something different, please do let me know. I'm going to be holding my breath through most of this, so I'm inhaling as little of this crap as possible. Here we go. It's reading 126 and still rock hard. Hundred and fifty-eight. It's just starting to have a little bit of squish to it. Hundred and eighty-five. Hundred and ninety-nine. Now the other thing is, this is only the surface temperature. It's not telling us the core temperature of the PVC. It's not that same temperature throughout. That's one problem using the infrared gun. It's reading 220. Here, and now you can just deform it. Like I said, it's not 220 throughout. If I go and I check it, it's 153 there, it's 157 there, 160 there. On the inside surface, it's 170. So you get an idea of what temperature it's at. So again, when it's about 170, 180, that's when it's pretty soft and starts to get pretty pliable throughout. We do have a little bit of a breeze today, so that's probably not helping things. Deformable. starting to brown near the top. It's reading 283. surface temperature reads 272 right now and it's totally soft. This is how you want it to be when you're making a bow. Interior temperatures are about 180. Let's destroy this thing.
326 at the area that's starting to brown. Three seventy two at the area that's starting to brown. Three thirty. Well, I don't feel comfortable taking it too much farther because it's already bloody destroyed. The thing is just gone. I've never seen it bubble up like that before. Even now, it's still registering at well over 280. That stuff is hot. So, I think that pretty much tells you up until about 2.30, you're going to achieve plasticity. Above 230, you're going to start cooking it. By 250, 260, it's going to be boiling. And the other thing to remember is the surface is always going to be way hotter than the core. If you just start to get this nutty brown, a very light brown, stop immediately. You can usually just rub that off, uh, sand it off, and it'll be fine. But at this point, that's going to be baked almost all the way through something like this, and that's unusable. It will fail there. I think Nick showed in one of his videos how it cracks. So, hope this has been fun and educational.